Biocampus from New York. We just did the Mickey Mouse and that was dedicated to you and yours. I met Laura when I was about 15 or 16. And she forced me to be her best friend. No one. No one. You know when someone's so resistant? A bit of a stalker? That was my Laura. And I gave in and we were best friends and then we fell out when I was 18 and 19 and then we promised to always do our whole lives together and then my first album happened and she wasn't along for the ride. It was devastating. So I called her on ears, Eve in tears and told her there was a gaping hole in my life. And we're best friends again! <laughs> She's a lot of fun. When I describe her to um, American audiences, I couldn't find anything better than Tina Fey on steroids. <laughs> she is the biggest joker of the time, and she's the total opposite of me. So that's what that song is about. She loves wearing colour. I hate wearing colour. I've been wearing black since I discovered Johnny Cash. <laughs> And um, I was still with the guy that the album was about, and then um, was a sort of premonition of what was going to happen. Not that I broke up, not that we broke up so I could write a record, that isn't the case at all. <laughs> Even though lots of people do speculate that, I'm not, I'm not on that at all. I just want to be in a relationship, and I love it, it's the most thrilling thing. So I played him this song, but he left me. So, relationship ended pretty soon after. So this is Take It All, and it's one of my favourites to see. Thank you. 